Okay, this is Barbara Ellistad with Mesquite Citizen Journal, and we are here at the Mesquite Fine Arts Gallery with Judith Heatham, and she is going to be our tour guide today, and I have promised her that she will not be on camera. <laughs> she's already mad at me. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> And she's going to give us a personal tour of all of the beautiful art exhibits in this month's um, themed contest, art contest, called A Perfect Ten. And it is primarily to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the Fine Arts Gallery and to um, really set the birthday celebration, anniversary celebration for the gallery. So Judith, let's start with the first piece here and just give us a real brief um, idea of what this piece is. The first piece in the competition is called Tasty Ten. It's a watercolor by a longtime gallery member, Jan Hansen. It's pomegranates, a delicate watercolor with beautiful colors. It is, I like that one a lot. This one I think is just Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautifully done. It's called A Perfect Ten. It's dry media, colored pencil by also a long time member, Carol Peterson, who has won awards in competitions before. Yeah. Really depicts the theme this it's month. Beautiful. It, it very, very accurately depicts the theme. Yes. Um, it's very small, but there's so much in just that tiny little piece. This one is really interesting. This catches your eye as soon as you come in the gallery. This is in the inimitable style of Jan Stenslund. <laughs> you can always expect the unusual from Jan. Yes. All the postage stamps in this painting are old 10 cent stamps. Oh, and yes. The title of the painting is Five and Ten, and the five, of course, are the five figures and the 10 or the 10 cent stamps. It's done in acrylic and the artist is Jan Stetsland. This is really interesting and you know I looked at this piece yesterday when I was in here and I to the untrained eye I didn't even notice the stamps so I'm really glad you pointed that out. That's one thing about Jan's paintings there's always a lot to look at. Yes. Uh, the fourth painting is in fact a drawing it's dry media Graphite, I believe. Uh, the title is A Hand Up by Susan Holliday, also a long-time VVAA member and award winner several times. It's so Beautifully cute. Beautifully done as well. Yes. yes. All very, the details. Yes, and a beautiful interpretation of the theme as well. Yes. The fifth mm. painting is It's a Ten, a watercolor, delicate, beautiful colored watercolor mm -hmm. by Jean Wench. I know roses like that, and they're usually very, very scented. Yes. So it's very evocative of a real rose. Okay. All right, here we go. Number six, the title is Tenth Hole. It's acrylic and egg tempera by Judy Heusner. And there is uh, a golf, golf links in the yeah. background with beautiful water in the foreground and lovely mesquite mountains. Mm-hmm. This is beautiful. So Another delicate watercolor, delicate. untitled this one, by Nancy Lamb, and I believe she's a relatively new member. Beautifully framed. Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous. I can always tell Moss Picard. Yes, he is one of the few um, abstract artists we have in the VVAA. This painting is titled Euphemism in White. It's acrylic. Very interesting. He has quite a signature he about does. his work. A unique style, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a drawing. The title is I'm 10 Years Old Today by Bonnie Liguri, a very long time VVAA member. Uh huh. It's so Beautiful cute. Beautiful young boy, yes. You can actually just see the little boy. Yeah, he has a lot of character. <laughs> yes. This is cute. This is called Celebration, also a lovely interpretation for the theme this month, the gallery's 10th anniversary. Celebration, a watercolor by Jean Winch. Beautiful, vibrant colors. It is. It's very celebratory. That would be great for a little child's 10th birthday. Mm. Oh, yes. And this is the one this piece that I voted for in the contest. <laughs> 
the title of this piece is Flight of Fancy. It's cut paper. And it's by Judith Heatham. And it is so fun to look at. And I just cannot imagine the time and effort you took to cut all of that paper and do all of the delicate work on that. I didn't realize the light would make it look as if there were many more than 10 butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so cute. Thank you. So imaginative. The next piece, the title is Still Standing, an acrylic by Jean Winch again. Jean has two other pieces at least in this competition and they're both watercolors. So this is a bit of a departure but also a good interpretation of the theme. Yeah, it's pretty cute. I like this one a lot. Full Bloom, Watercolor, Dry Media by Janet Trebeau, a vibrant, gorgeous depiction mm. of cactus in the desert. Yes. Oh. Reminds us how beautiful our desert really is. Yes. Another abstract piece by Moss Picard, acrylic. This one is titled Blood Brothers. Whoa. Okay. That can like. get you to thinking. Yeah, I like the black and white and red. That works. Yeah. This is darling. Just darling. Who's there? Is the title of this one. It's acrylic by Andrea Souza. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so cute. Who's there? That's what I love about all these exhibits. There's just so much imagination and and so many different interpretations. Oh, yes. So much, um, just different, uh, different pieces that appeal to all different kinds of. Uh, choices in in art. Often when we have a theme, when it's first announced, people will say, what? <laughs> but then you see 40 different interpretations of a single theme. So it really sets people's minds working a little bit sideways. Yeah, this is cute. The title of this piece is 10 for Art, Watercolor and Ink by Rich Killian. And it depicts, in an abstract way, the um, ART sign on the side of the gallery building. Yes, it does. It does. That's really cute. This piece is called Ten Marvelous Years Above the Rest. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's a digital image by a new member, Susan Schultz. She's a great photographer. And we're very pleased to have her in the gallery. It's and hard to believe this is a photograph. I know. It's very surreal, isn't it? I love yes. the way the marbles are just hovering there. Yeah. Just I, I'm just amazed with the talent it took to make that. And here's another very delicate watercolor by Nancy Lamb entitled Autumn. Mm -hmm. It's more, quite a small piece, but beautifully framed. Too. It is. It's really, really pretty. This is another pretty one. This is Colored Pencil, titled A Perfect Ten, by Arlene Lanier. Yeah. A butterfly on a thistle, I think. Mm-hmm. Yes. It okay. is. Okay. Oh, this is nice. A photograph in the desert, digital image by Sharon Clark. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a it botanical is. garden. It does. I think so. It does. I do love the desert. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. This is gorgeous. This is quite a large piece. The title it is. is Survival. It's done in acrylic and that's by James Lanier. Possibly related to Arlene Lanier. <laughs> Two paintings back. Okay. 